Mark Wahlberg said if he was on the plane, it wouldn't yeah. have gone down. Oh. Spy versus. Did he, did he really say that, though? Yeah. That's what everybody says. Oh, he said, I, don't know. I never heard him say that. It's did a funny, funny thing to said? think. It's a crazy thing to think. You know, you, who knows what the fuck you would do if you thought that you were just going to land somewhere? You know, that's the idea is that you knew what was going to happen before it happened. Nobody knows. Well, while that shit's going down, someone's got box cutters. They're holding a waitress. They're holding a stewardess by the neck. Like, yeah, you, know, you don't know what the fuck's happening. You have no idea what's going You're on. You're afraid to move. Yeah. And, you know, I'm sure that a lot of people would step up. But, you you know, it could potentially cost that person their life. And then when the plane lands, that person's dead when they may be... If you don't know, right? You don't know the actual scenario. Now, obviously, we know it was a horrible thing. And you should do whatever you can to stop them. Because they're going to kill everybody no matter what. But back then, you didn't know. I mean, if someone just took the plane and landed it, yeah. and the stewardess you lived, didn't know. That's right. You would be like, "Glad I didn't do anything." Mm. He jumped up and he cut her face off. Yeah, you know. It's like in in those moments when you don't know what's going to happen. He said, if "I was on that plane, okay, if with my kids, it wouldn't have went down like it did. There would have been a lot of blood in that first class cabin. Then me saying, okay, we're going to land somewhere safely. Don't worry.' Hmm. Oh. That." See, I I'm, I see where he's coming from, right? He's got a he's got kids that he loves. He's got a family that he loves. He wouldn't have sat still. That's what he's saying. Yeah, that's what he's saying. And in his mind, he probably has that conviction. Even if it meant yeah, the thing ruining is, everybody's life. Would you? You know, would it work? If it didn't work, like, what do they have? Do you know what they have? You know, they, they don't have, know. You know, you know, they have a box cutter. Do they have anything else? How many of them are there? You don't know. Like, yeah. Is anybody going to back you up? Does anybody else know how to fight? You know, you could get fucked up. You could you could step up thinking you're Billy Badass, and this guy is mm -hmm. some trained they martial trained. artist yeah, who trained. smashes your face in and, and cuts you up with a box cutter. That could happen, too. And still pulls his belt off yeah. and blows the plane up. It could. Who the fuck knows, man? That's why there's professionals, right? That's where there's professional, those air marshals yeah. that can assess the situation and figure out. And obviously, you know, they weren't. Either they weren't there on that plane, or they couldn't help. I got chills yeah, thinking about it if I was in that position. I, you know, how could you? I mean, who the fuck knows what you would do? Well, since I look like I'm on the other team, I would have said, <laughs> "My friend." <laughs> Imagine fucking it up. <laughs> my friend, my friend, my friend. Like, Come on, get up and do your. I'm like, I'm not part of the team. Dave, do your fine guy thing. <laughs> fuck, man. Yeah, you'd be, you know. Have you ever been so scared that you're frozen instant for a second? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, you you can't know what the right thing to do is. And the wrong thing could be so catastrophic, right? <laughs> you don't know. You don't plus, know do plus he went as do. far as to say, like, that he's making announcements on the plane. Yeah. Well, when this is all happening, like, we're landing safe. Like, he's now the pilot. In the movies, <laughs> he gets right, to be I mean, a hero, right? That's true. In yeah. the movie, you get to grab the intercom at the end yeah. and go, "Thanks for flying so and so air." Sometimes you say things like that because that's how you feel, and you don't think about how other people are going to perceive it. That's what I would assume that statement is. It's like, that's how he felt. Like, fuck that! I'm landing this fucking plane. I'm going to kill these fucking terrorists. Yeah, right. That's what he told his kids right. one night. The problem is, you're saying that to billions of people, and billions of people hear that and they go, "What?" And then all these people get to assess your your statement, whether or not it has any makes any sense like what are you gonna do you can kick everybody's ass mm -hmm. okay you sure <laughs> i know a lot of dudes who if they were there and you tried to do that you'd get smashed right like there's scary people in this world there's, holding weapons on a I, know, I, would, I would assume if you're ready to die like that you have a very strange kind of conviction too if you know you're ready to die and you know how to fight like woof. jesus i don't I mean who knows but it's like just the idea that you would have to think about it. That's what's really terrifying. What do you mean? The idea that you would have to think, like, what do I do? If something is, if someone does hijack a plane. Don't we all think that? Yeah. Every every yeah. situation now, there's that. What we do do. What yeah, happens? What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? I mean, so you hear it's, people run and they survive. And then people run and get shot down and they go the wrong way. Mm -hmm. and anytime a tragedy like that happens, like, what the fuck? Oh horrific random set of sequences and you're in the wrong spot you and you do the right heroic how about how many people must do the heroic thing and then you, they yeah. die anyway and you never know about it. oh for sure i wonder what uncle steve did in that situation yeah i don't know